Hello, my name's Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly restore Registry Editor, Command Prompt, Task Manager and Control Panel when they've been disabled by a virus. I'll just prove to you that currently on my system that all these four are currently disabled. Let's try Regedit. As you can see, that's been disabled. We'll try command prompt, and you can see that's been disabled. Task manager, you can see that's also disabled. And control panel is also disabled. I'm going to quickly show you how to do, put this right. You need to download a tool called Reenable from our website, tangosoft.co.uk. You go to downloads. There you go. It comes in two versions: it's portable edition and a dot, dot net edition. If you're running Windows Vista or Windows XP, then I would recommend that you use. Sorry, if you're running Windows 7 on Windows Vista, then I recommend you use the light version. If it's Windows XP, then and you've not got .NET installed then run the portable edition so I've already downloaded it there it is on my desktop so we're going to run this let's wait for it to kick in and we'll uncheck all because we only need four functions Red edit, command console task manager and control panel. Okay, we've selected them, hit the re-enable button. No, we don't want to restart it. Right, let's check this. Red edit should be enabled now. And we allow that, yep. There you go. Registry editor working. Command prompt working. Task manager working control panel and you're all working that's how you re-enable all those four plus more besides in one simple click re-enable also has these other additional features it will restore your safe mode you can edit your hosts Reset files and folds up to attributes. Repair exp explore exe startup problems and so on and so on and so on. I'm currently working on version three. Now this is where where you can have your input. If you have any ideas or suggestions, then please get them to me. You can contact me by the website in the comment sen comment section or you can contact me via the website by email if you have any ideas at all what you'd like to see in the next version please don't hesitate to tell me that's it for now thanks a lot bye bye